EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for June 16th, 2020. Expecting Tuesday to be very similar to Monday in both temperatures and sky condition. Actually, you can add humidity into that uh, as well because humidity will still be on the lower side. We're going to have high pressure that's going to be sitting off to our north here, kind of an elongated high, and it's going to keep everything else. Uh, this upper level low and the associated surface low that's going to be uh, that has developed here uh, off to our south. The mid level surface low is going to be right about here, so there's no longer an upper level low. There's still an upper level low present, uh, but the rain is going to be associated with this low pressure uh, further to the south, of course. This is over the over southern half of Virginia and North Carolina, actually, both parts of the Carolinas here. Uh, so we'll be protected from that today, but this high is going to be weakening and heading eastward over the next couple of days. So Wednesday is still expected to be a uh, partly cloudy day for most of us. Areas further south, and I mean far south, probably south of the Mason-Dixon line could be uh, partly to mostly cloudy. As this uh, system here is uh, going to go from a closed mid-level low to a an open wave. All right, And uh, as it does so, it's going to start creeping off to the north. And the reason it's able to do that is because you no longer have... There's nothing here. There's no high there anymore. Uh, high slides off to the east. It's actually sitting out here in the Gulf of Maine here at this point. So that gets a return flow around this coming in from the southeast now. Here you got a southeasterly wind flow, but it allows this, uh, even though it's weakening, and it's a weakening open wave here at this point, it's starting to come further to the north now. Uh, and this is going to present a little bit of an issue and a change in the forecast from, uh, from about Thursday onward. And we'll have to monitor this closely. The global models are starting to key on this. Now, this is not going to be a total washout type thing. When this comes further north, there is an opportunity that as late as, as early as Thursday, late in the day Thursday, you could have uh, a few showers in our southern areas making its way uh, toward the region. I don't think this gets too far to the north. I know the European model is showing this. I, I think this is a little bit too premature here. And this is also showing a lot more defined of a of an open wave here a lot of precipitation with this considering it's an open wave and weakening at this point uh but uh there is nevertheless a big change in the forecast going through uh thursday with uh, we did allow for an isolated shower in a few spots especially southern areas here on thursday but again partly cloudy isolated pm showers possible here thursday and then partly cloudy again friday so it's not gonna be a total wash here partly cloudy and then you have afternoon and evening thunderstorms possible over a bigger area so friday you have a little bit better of a chance here but with it but again this is a, showing a uh, a lot of precipitation here uh but this is indicating this is not just one big massive system here this is just uh, it has a hard time figuring out where these thunderstorms are going to be so you'll have some pop-up scattered thunderstorms uh but lower chances it's gonna be partly cloudy most of the day some areas get it some don't on here on uh, on friday okay so it can be scattered and the same thing over the weekend Saturday, you got scattered thunderstorms, although the European model is trying to show a lot more in the way of precipitation. I don't think this is correct, and the reason I don't think that is because this up uh, the, the open wave that's going to kind of drift up north like this is going to start heading off to the east here in the Friday-Saturday time frame and weakening at the same time. So while it's still there, uh, you do have the opportunity for a pop-up thunderstorm, but I don't think it's going to be it's going to look like this. It's not going to be a, this is not going to be the coverage that we're looking at here late weekend. It just wouldn't make sense to. Uh, so this is definitely an increase and a change from yesterday's video where it looked like most of the week is going to be dry except for maybe something isolated Friday and then maybe again on Monday. Uh, but now this is a change where we're introducing the opportunity for an afternoon or evening thunderstorm in spots, scattered thunderstorms, uh, on uh, Friday, Saturday, and maybe even Sunday yet. Uh, again, the European model is trying to you know have this again here on Sunday. I think the chances are going to be lesser here on Sunday than Saturday. So they made uh, Saturday, instead of being a 90 or above, if you do get a thunderstorm, you might be limited to the mid middle 80s instead. Uh, but it does look like that you have a better chance at 90 or above on Sunday and Monday. Uh, Monday, we're going to have a cold front approaching the region, so we're going to, we are expecting scattered showers and thunderstorms. That is uh, not a change that it was actually expected uh, in yesterday's video. We didn't get that far because it was outside the seven-day window, but it did uh, indicate at that point that there will be a cold front coming toward the region that would break the heat. Uh, Monday afternoon and evening, you have an opportunity for scattered showers and thunderstorms. So this one is a better chance here on Monday. But uh, I think these other days, even though the models are indicating it looks like it's going to be, oh no, we're going to be a washout. I don't think it looks like this. I think it's going to be more widely scattered. And we'll know a little, we'll know a lot more once we have the uh, NAM and range right now and only goes to uh, Thursday. So we're not far enough in range to see what it's going to do for the weekend. But it usually has a better handle on uh, mesoscale systems and any kind of thunderstorm activity 
and I don't think it's going to be as plentiful as it looks like here in the global models. It usually doesn't, so we'll just wait and see how this plays out, but just don't uh, go canceling any plans uh, in the Thursday through uh, Monday time frame. And looking like you look at those app forecasts, it's going to say scattered thunderstorms each each and every day and probably high percentages of it. I think it's going to be more widely scattered once we get there, but we'll find out in a few days. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for June 16th, 2020. Have a great Tuesday.